So basically, NATO bombed uh, a the national broadcaster of Serbia. Uh, the uh, rationale was that it was putting out propaganda that was dangerous. That was um, that was encouraging the very poisonous nationalism, which uh, which definitely was. It was a mouthpiece for Milosevic, but uh, it killed sixteen civilians, journalists, makeup artists, engineers. Um, and a lot of these people, I, I lived next door to a, a gentleman uh, for, for a couple of years. And at the last minute, he switched his uh, shift with the youngest guy who was killed, oh, an engineer. Wow. And so that got young kid died and he didn't. And so he just told me that he like, drank himself to death for like a decade out of guilt. Uh, so anyway, that's, sorry, this, that's a bit of a, a tangent, but just to kind of like understand. To humanize how, it a little bit, yeah. Uh, that's just the, the, that's the, the human side of it, but there's also like the kind of legal uh, and um, assessing whether or not this is a war crime. I mean, there's I think of- from my standpoint, it's it's it seems like pretty cut and dry a war crime, right? Right. I mean, I think that a lot of people, even who were supporters of the intervention, uh, will say that that was a war crime. That you shouldn't target journalists under any circumstances. You couldn't. You shouldn't kill journalists, even yeah. if you think they're spreading propaganda. And you, know, you can imagine in this climate today, yeah, uh, with all this like talk about like RT or Russia today um, spreading all kinds of propaganda. If they didn't have nukes. You know, yeah. I don't know. Would we, we like send like missiles into their headquarters? I, that's what we're kind of um, looking at. Yeah, and it's. I mean, uh, to our to our listeners, we are accepting Jake Tapper and his ilk from this. If they fall off a cliff or something, it's you know, fine. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Just playing. Oh. Just 